Hello, 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 hello. It's Kate Bolt, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator here in the UK. I'm back for another Fun Friday. I have got quite a fun video for you, or I think it is today. Um, and I am going to be back again using the gorgeous hot air balloon suite um, from Stampin' Up! It has this lovely, beautiful set of hot air balloon stamps, but these really versatile dies as well. So there's a die. Where is the die? Here's this die that is not a hot air balloon. It's a heart. It has that kind of striped um, aperture in it, which is really lovely. And uh, I've taken inspiration from our Stampin' Up! catalogue to create, well, I'm going to create a card for you and make it into a um, hot air balloon. I'm going to try and make this heart into a hot air balloon. Wouldn't it be great to make it into a Valentine card? And there's also a heart aperture here as well. Now I'm not one for a whole Valentine suite um, just for a Valentine card. So this is perfect solution that you can have for both. So let's crack on today. So I have already um, pulled it from my scraps of card. I've got a piece of lemon lolly, a piece of Highland Heather, a piece of Poppy Parade, a piece of um, Bubble Bath and one of Balmy Blue. And I've cut the hearts out of each so I've got five I've counted right let me move those to the side okay and what I've done is I've taken inspiration from the designer series papers that come in this suite um, to pick out my colors for my hearts and for my card so my card base is my usual let me move those over my usual card base colour, my usual card base size rather, it is uh, an azure afternoon colour in blue. Azure is a really nice colour. Um, and it's A4 cut in half and scored in half. So that makes it um, scored at 10 and a half and cut at 14.8 centimetres. I'm looking for my bone folder, which has gone walkabout on my desk. Where is it gone? <laughs> It will turn up in a minute, probably when I finish the video. Why does that happen? Never mind. All right then. So I've got my card base. I've got my card layer for my insert, which is slightly smaller, just half a centimetre. So it's 14.3 by, sorry, that's 10 by 14.3. That's the same size for my first layer on the top, which I've cut in bubble bath pink. So that's 10 by 14.3. And then I've gone down for my white layer which is nine and a half by 13.8. So it's just half a centimeter smaller again. So that's all the pieces I need. I've taken the cloud dies. There are two cloud dies. Where are they? Here. There are so many dies in this set. They're really good. Um, and I've cut, there's one big and one small cloud. So I've cut three sets. So I've got six clouds to play with. And I'm going to arrange those on the top of my piece here so it's going to be a quite a simple card once you die cut your pieces it's not going to be that difficult so i'm going to work out where i want my clouds i'm going to have them kind of hanging over the edge um, like this like this and that might be enough i might put one more on there like that and then I'm going to stick them on with my Tombow. Now I did make a sample card so that I you know designed what I was going to do today but uh, I used the cloud punch. We have a gorgeous cloud punch in the annual Stampin' Up! catalogue and I love it and I thought it'd be very quick and easy for me to use the punch and I will show you that when I finished. I'll show you the um, the one that I, my original that I made using the punch. So you can either use all the dies, because you'll have them if you have this, or the cloud punch, which is so simple and easy to use. All right. Now it does look odd because I have white on white, but you'll see in a minute, I'm gonna make it pop out a little bit. Slid that one. There we go. There we 
half. Make sure they're straight. Just a bit of random. Where do I stick it to the grid paper? So I've left this gap here because I'm going to put something else down the bottom of the card. Okay, now I'm going to find my blending brush, which I've got here. It is clean. And I pulled out the balmy blue ink. I'm going to pop a little bit of ink on it. These blending brushes are marvellous. Marvellous is the word. I love them. And they're kind of um, really flexible. Just take a little bit of the ink off that I've applied so that it don't have a harsh blob when I apply it to the this bit. And I'm just going to pick up the, the, the cloud shapes. Go all over, but you'll find that it goes on the edges of those clouds really well and just picks them out so it looks like you've got a sky. <laughs> so yeah, glue your pieces on and then put your blending on because it will kind of pick out the bits that are raised in the clouds. So I hope you're having a lovely Friday. This is a pre-recorded video, so where I am currently, it's pouring with rain. We're waiting for another storm to come through, but all is well apart from the rain at the moment. I did have a little bit of glue there, so I'm not sure if I'm going to try and remove that with my glue rubber. And yeah, that is wanting to come off, thankfully. These are so good. They're little cheap little glue rubbers and we used to sell them with Stampin' Up but we don't carry them anymore so but you can get them on Amazon there you go so there we go so that's that now I'm going to take to the back of it and just chop off the edges because we don't want those overhanging pieces of cloud but it's nice because it, you can see it kind of coming off the edge which is good it looks very natural like that and then we're gonna have a bit of fun with these die cut pieces i've got a spare clay i'll keep for later i may add it but i probably won't so i am going to i can't remember how i did this i know that i folded them back in half i didn't bother to score them because you've got this nice little spine in the middle and you can just fold them over and keep this bit kind of flat if you want So where the point is, just bring that in, make that nice and folded on all of those. Yes, I must look in my stash for a Valentine stamp. Make a nice Valentine card with these hearts. I think it's really versatile. There we are. Ooh. Love this suite. I will show it you in a minute in the catalogue if you've not seen it. So you can see that later. And some of the cards I've made with it as well. Uh, some other cards. I've used it so much. Right, so the idea is now I am going to create this kind of 3D shape. So I'm going to look at how, what colour way I want to go on first. I don't think I used red on my other one. I think I used Calypso Coral, but red is fine. We'll go with that. This was Poppy Parade. Um, so I'm going to take the one and where this kind of like thicker part is, I'm going to put a little bit of liquid glue and down the bottom like that. I'm going to glue my yellow one to it. So that it's all kind of stuck symmetrically. It all matches. Like that. So you've got that nice bit there. Okay, and then we're going to carry on going around. So I'm going to use this pink one next. So put some glue on this yellow called lemon lolly and then this pink one is called bubble bath we're going to pop that one on there 
and you can match it up exactly because they're symmetrical. Hooray! And then onto the bubble bath, we're going to put this lilac-y purple one. This is Highland Heather. It's like a little 3D and it will fold flat to go in an envelope. How fabulous! Because obviously you want to be able to post your cards unless you hand it to someone but even so you want it in an envelope don't you and then oh, i'm stuck to that one i'm getting a bit glue now right last one balmy blue so a little bit of glue on these spines um, both sides and the bottom make sure it sticks and a little bit at the top you don't want it coming apart the thing i like about this liquid glue is that it just gives you that moment just a second to uh rearrange it if it's not quite symmetrically done there we go so glue because it squeezed through onto my fingers because I used a bit much. Use my chamois to see if my fingers are clean. Oh, it makes a whole squeaky sound though. Okay, so we're good. We are good to go. So this is our hot air balloon, if you like. So cool. I am going to use the blue side to stick it down onto my card, and this is going to be the top of my hot air balloon. How cool is that? So, think about it, when you put it in your card, it will fold flat. Either way, it will fold so that you can have a nice flat card to go into your envelope. But when it's up and proud, you want it to stick out like that. So, yeah. Perfect. So, I'm going to put some glue on the blue bed at the back and make sure I can decide exactly where it's going to go and stick on the front. Um, bearing in mind, I'm going to put a little basket for the hot air balloon underneath. So, if I do it here, we can see our clouds. Oops, lay down. Right, like that. There we go. So that's on there. We'll let that dry. And I have, I haven't cut out my balloon, but here's one of the dies. My, my balloon, my um, basket. Now, there are three of these basket dies in this lovely set. So you can stamp it and cut it out the outline or just cut a piece of cardstock or you can use this one and I'll use this one, I think, which cuts, is, cuts out just a piece of card. And I think I'll do it in... I think I'll do it in the pink. Now, what should I do? I could do it in any colour. Uh, I think I'll do it in the pink because I've done my layer in the pink in the bubble bath. So let's just cut that one out on my machine. Let's grab my little uh, take a pick tool because it's staying in there. It's stayed inside. There we go. Right, that's going to go here. I'm definitely getting glue everywhere today. There we are, it's gone. Um, I'm not going to pop it up on a sticky foam pad because I think it'll look a bit strange. I'll pop a little bit of glue here on the back and just pop it there Oop. make sure it's straight and that it meets the bottom of the balloon so it looks like a heart hot air balloon now you see all the different colors it's really pretty. I like that a lot. So the other thing in this suite, the hot air balloon suite, you get the stamps, you can get the dies, 
you get the beautiful little adhesive gems, um, gorgeous papers, and some of these baker's twine. Now, I think I'm going to use, I don't know what colour to use. On this sample card, I used the yellow. So go for blue. Let's bring in the layers and have a look. See what we fancy so i could use calypso coral if i'd done the layer this one in calypso it would have worked really well um, instead of the red i could use the blue i will go back with yellow because this kind of lifts the card and the color a bit so i'm going to go with the yellow but before i do it i'm going to do a little bit more stamping on the front so this stamp set has some really good sentiments We've got hang in there, wish wish big, up, up and away, hooray, it's your birthday, or just a note to lift you up. And I've done tons of birthday cards because you never have enough of those using this set. So I think I'm going to use this just a note to lift you up instead because I think it works really well with this hot air balloon. Let's grab it in, just let it go on there. And I'm going to use the same colour ink as I've used the card base. So I'm going in with Azure Afternoon. Azure. 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 <laughs> I keep trying to say this word. And uh, I never had a problem with it before. But the more I say it, the weirder it sounds. <laughs> Azure Afternoon. <laughs> Honestly, just a note to lift you up. Now, before I whack it onto my card, I'm going to try the stamp out because I haven't used it today. And sometimes you need to fit, know how your stamp feels. Do you do you know what I mean by that? Do you do that too? Right now, so I want it. I've got this nice gap here. I'm gonna have some twine and just under the twine, I want my sentiment. And I think I'm gonna have it a little bit to the side there. I definitely haven't got the right size block for the stamp. And you can tell that because I've managed to get ink the block just a note to lift you up so let's just clear that off because that's a lot of blue ink on there can you see it i can't see what you can see anyway just a note to lift you up which i think is rather nice sentiment and i'll go in with the baker's twine and easy enough just to wrap it round and tie a bow. So I think what I'll do, if I've got enough here to tie a bow with, I think I'll pop it down with a bit of tape on the back. Just helps anchor it. Oh, I had some of that here. Just helps anchor it whilst I tie my bow. Because I'm not the best at bow tying. There we go, so that's there now. I'm going to bring it round and tie it up. So, I seem to tie my bows upside down. So if I turn it upside down, hopefully it will come out the right way up. Maybe you will see a method in my madness. Let's hope. Oh, yeah, I can't seem to do it that way because the end is on the wrong side. There we are. I need to do it that way because I can't see what I'm doing. There. Let's hope for the best. I am sure you'll do a better job than I have. Let's bring it over a bit. I might have if I sit down. I think that would help. Oh, that's better. Did I mention I'm not very good at tying bows? <laughs> oh, dear. Three. 
3,000 years later. There we are. So let's make that one a bit smaller, that one a bit bigger. Okay, let's chop it off. Ribbon scissors. There we go. And we can then even them out a bit. There we are. And if you want to, you can adhere that down with a little glue dot. And I can even pull it through a bit. So if you tie it all the way around, you can move your bow where you'd like it to go, which I think is better. It's not obscuring the sentiment as much. I'm going to anchor that down again. Okay, right, right, right. Time to glue it all together. Let's stand up again. Happy days. Just a note to lift you up. So a nice little card to send somebody who needs cheering up. And I think there's plenty of that around these days, unfortunately. And you know, what are we if we're not card makers? You know, why, why are we making cards if we're, what I'm trying to say is, why are we making cards if we're not sending them? So let's do the hashtag make a card and send a card, not make a card and put it in a cupboard. Let's lift each other up. some glue. Pop it together. And all of a sudden that blue kind of makes it pop. Nice. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of stamping on the inside because we've got this gorgeous stamp set. Why not? Uh, I do need to grab a couple of ink pads that I haven't thought about. So I'm going to go Crumb cake, lemon lolly, and bubble bar. This for the inside. Gonna put a sentiment in there using that this lovely azure afternoon again. And I'm going to put a hang in there because I think that's the right one for the just a note to lift you up. Hang in there. Then I'm going to grab in this one and this one. I didn't realise when I first got this stamp set that these two can be used as separate balloon stamps, but you can put them together to make one stripy balloon. How did I not realise that? I was experimenting and I was like, oh. So I am. I was trying to work out how they, they made a balloon with this piece on it and that piece doesn't have one. And that's, yeah. Bet you all knew that. <laughs> Not me. Right. We're going with a yellow one to start with. This is going to be the innards. Like that. Then we're going to go with this fatter one and we're going to go pink. Gotta go pink. And I'll show you, I'm going to try and line this up. It's quite difficult when you're looking through a camera to get your head right in the right place to line the stamps up, but we are going to try. So as as this yellow is so pale, I'm going to bring it right down to there. But do excuse me if it's not exact, I'm sure you'd make a better job. There you go, look at that balloon. That's not bad, is it? I mean, it's slightly higher on the pit on the top, but it's not bad. Not bad. And then I'm going to come in with a crumb cake and just do a little basket. So let's use the big 
big basket is that too big no i think we'll go with the big one it's got a nice little detail on it so i have made tons and tons and tons with this stamp and die set and the papers so i will show you a few that i have made or the ones that i've got around that i have made um, so you can see how versatile this set is. All right, a bit of glue. There we go, hang in there. So that's the one, that's the one I just made. I hope you love it. And that is just using that one little die heart die from this set and this is the sample one I made and I did it exactly the same but I used the balloon punch that we have in the annual catalogue other than that it's exactly the same oh I used a smaller basket and I used the fresh freezer cardstock as for the bubble bath but other than that it's pretty much the same I did a different sentiment but I used the same ink colour and then inside I've got Wish Big because this one's a birthday card and we've got Hang In There, the one I've just done. These are the same colour inks. It does fade. I only made it yesterday. It does, like, once it's dry, it goes to just a slightly lighter shade. So that's those. Aren't they gorgeous? I hope you've enjoyed seeing me play with a lighter than air suite today. I really, really love it and I can't stop playing with it. But, uh, yeah, you can see the C wine. Let me show you it in the catalogue find it there it is here's the suite so there's so many beautiful things and so many gorgeous uh, samples to make um, give you inspiration even more over here so yeah this is where I got my inspiration from they just cut out uh, the, the solid heart here and I thought no I'm going to do that but I'm going to do it with this one um, I've made shaker cards, all sorts, and it's gorgeous. So, let me show you what I've made. Here's just a sum of what I've made using this suite. Let me grab it. I have made on my lives, on some of my other lives, I have made couple of birthday shaker cards using the papers and the stamps and the dies. There's one. It's exactly the same one, but with a different paper. Slightly different, but pretty much the same. It's so pretty. Wish big. Um, this is using the papers with a just a different stamp set, but with the papers. This is the hexagonal hello one, heartfelt hello. But these papers are beautiful. And those are the enamel dots that come in the balloon suite. Um, here's another one. Just a note to lift you up. And there's another one. And another one. So, so many cards and loads of inspiration. I hope you might feel a little bit inspired to play with this set. It is available in my online shop currently. My Stampin' Up! online shop. And the links are in the description box down below. Um, yeah, so if you would like to um, shop with me, do um, do find that down there. I'm just having a look at this, the whole suite. If you want to buy everything, the stamps, the dies, the papers, the twine, the dots is £70. And you can use just the one number to order the whole suite. Or you can order the bundle, which is the stamps and the dies. If you order the bundle and not the stamps and the dies separately, it comes as 10% off. Also, as part of the suite, it also includes that 10% off. So the bundle is 42 25 and then you can add things in or take them out or whatever you would like. Um, bear in mind, if you're buying it through January through February, if you spend £45 in my online shop, you get free celebration items from our celebration brochure, and that finishes at the end of February. So yeah, bear that in mind because you could earn some really nice, beautiful things for free. Um, I made this card using the Cradled in Love stamp set and this is a free one with celebration. So there's loads of things there. Have a little look. 
thank you for joining me today. Um, I'm so glad you joined me. Thank you very much. Do give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. And um, yeah, leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. Do you like the hot air balloon suite? I'd love to know. And uh, if you're watching me in the future, do say hello. And um, I will be back for Coffee and Cards on Tuesday live at 1pm. And I'm always here on a Friday with a pre-recorded video for Fun Friday at 11am. And uh, thanks so much for watching. Do consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks so very much and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.